So what I'm going to take is we uh, claret and silver. Now the hook in the base is a Camazon B175 and size 10. The thread I'm going to use is the Uni Thread 801 Black. Ties down to a size 12, maybe even a 14. Just depends where you where you fish. So we'll just run our thread on, <coughs> remove the waist tag of thread. The tail of the fly is the uh, golden pheasant tippet fibers. So you're just looking a few of these. Not too much. Just a, a small amount. And then the tail. Probably want the tail around about the length of the shank. You can make it a bit longer, you can always sure, make it a bit longer yourself. Just work on the thread turns down to catch in the tail. Just trim away the waist. The rib. This is just a silver ultra wire that I'm using. Just the sort of way you use the, the ultra wire up because of sort of way you transitioned over to using the silver uni wire. I'm just going to work my thread forward just hang in the rib and the cut ends of the golden pheasant and then I can work my thread back down just tied up against my, my tail at that point there. I'm just going to give you a nice smooth body. The body, I'm using a uni miner, the size 12 silver and gold some off here so I'll just use this right, just come around then just pull it in roughly the same length as your tan thread underneath is what I do and then you can work your thread forward it doesn't have to be close touching turns here guys in my view as long as you're lashing it down onto the hook it should be grand now you can put some varnish or super glue on you wish. I don't bother. And then I'm just working the main R up and overlapping turns just to give it that nice silvery gleam. And then just come around with a couple of nice tight turns to catch in your main R. Then you can trim away the waist. Then we'll come in with our rib. We are looking four or five turns. It's up to you. You rip it as many times as you like. Follow this around with the thread. And then just work my thread down to the eye of the hook. Just catching everything in. Then you can bend and break away the, the wire. Then we'll work our thread back up. It's nice and tight. We'll just have a wee check, see what that way it ranks sudden. That's good. Now I'm wrong with that. The haggle, you can use a claret cock, or in this case, I'm using a wee claret hen haggle. Now, the tips broke their own, but the haggle's ground, you can still use it. So, I'm just offered up to the hook. Three or four turns to catch the tip in. Fold the tip of the haggle back, work your thread back up. Break away the, the tip of the haggle. I'm probably digging around about two turns of this. You want it sparse, you just put one turn on. Fly tying is very, a very individual thing, in my view. That's two turns there. I'll catch this in. And what I just do is just work my thread. Right down tight to the eye of the hook. Break away the remainder of the feather. And then work my thread back up. Then one come in because it's a hand haggle. The fibers will want the sort of way Murray together. Just bring everything out. Now the wing. I'm using a this is goose. Dag claret. Goose shoulder. Dag claret. Now what you could do is show you the packet. 
that's a, a right and a left but you can use a right and a left from the, the one feather now, I've already got two strips off but I'm going to use her do this, I'm just going to come out a wee bit so what I tend to do is, you can see it's sort of way level the whole way up so once I get the, the first fly tied and get the right breadth of the feather I'll just come in with my needle separate the fibres run my fingers through the tips just to straighten everything up throw that away and then this side here oh sorry go over this way this side here just allows me the breadth then what I believe to be the correct breadth for the next side just come in there on your needle through it and throw away your two slips then you can take your two slips this is my side get your side off the desk here and then just get the tips lined up the best that you can my goose is very very soft now see if they feel the sort of way marry together see the end bits here where it's curled round just trim them away and then just bring the two favours two sets of slips back in and then the length of your wing this is basically your bravery test here at this point just bring that up tighter closer to the haggle length of your wing is really up to yourself you can have it really long short and again it's just very personal I think it's the way you like to tie them and then fish them so just offer it up to the hook then just come in just pinch it onto the hook just take three or four turns slide your fingers back see what way you're what way you're sitting right. get these to marry up for me there right. that's good enough for that's good enough for government work as they say then just come in and trim away the waist And then we're just going to build up our head. Don't be shy. You say to your head on your fly guys, we'll say that all the time. It's very true. Nice and tight. Slide your fingers back. And then just come in and throw in a, a whip finish. Right, once you start to face this, like most wings on wet flies, it'll start to lose its shape. So you're not looking to me in my view anything that's picture perfect. Now if you're tying it for a frame or something like that, that's different. You want to you want to have it sitting as good as you can get it. Now the first coat onto the head, it's just always a wee drop of super glue. You don't want to touch the goose because that'll just the super glue will just suck into the fibres like a sponge. Oh, just come right round. And then when this dries, I'll come in and hit that with a wee lick of varnish. Just to cover the Super glue, I'm work on my desk. Better make sure the eyes clean. And then just clean out the, the eye. So there you go guys, that's the let's come in a wee bit more for you, so you go. That's the claret and silver, or sometimes known as the, the silver and claret. Now if you don't have 
goose. You can basically use any feather that's dyed claret, duck quill, something like that would work. Let's give you the same effect. As always, many thanks for taking the time to view the video. It's greatly appreciated. If this is the first time watching, please consider subscribing. It just helps the channel grow. And until next time, guys, take care of yourselves and each other. And all being well, I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.